Hello Windows Experts and today we're going to test and give some information about Windows 95. Okay, of course Windows 95 is released by Microsoft. Uh, Windows 95 is a successor of Windows 3.1. X series. It is the first operating system of the 9X family. So that's Windows 95, Windows 89, and Windows Millennium Edition. It is released for manufacturing on August 15, 1995. The general release was nine days later. It was on August 24, 1995. And the end of support is like always December 31, 2001. There are various editions uh, released. Uh, of the Windows 95 series, like the just the normal Win Windows 95, yeah, and, the, and there is also a Windows 95 Plus with more uh, abilities, more options for personal use. It's both uh, released on the on the August 24. Um, then you have the Service Pack One uh, Windows 95 that is released on February 14, 19. 96. Um, then you have the OEM service packs that uh, is released on uh, one year later, August 24, 1996. Uh, you have USB uh, supported uh, version that is released on August 27, 1997. And you have the OSR functions OSR 2.1 and OSR, OSR 2.1. Five. The 2.1 is released on 27 uh, August and the 2.5 is released on November 26. As uh, I, I called in the name, uh, you have uh, OEM support. That means that means that it is, man it is manufactured by an other company. OEM means Original Equipment Manufacturing. Okay, the later editions have uh, lots of bugs and the previous version that is always at Windows computers. Okay, there are some updates, of course. There is now accessibility to have a long file name. Uh, you have the introduction of the 32-bit um, operating system. That means there's more ability for multitasking. You have a new graphical interface. Uh, the difference is just the taskbar is added and the start menu. Just new features uh, to have the office interface. There's also uh, more ability for internet support because the upcoming trend of internet is coming. But the Internet Explorer is only available at the Windows Plus or you have to install it. Uh, you have the new file manager, less of MS-DOS support. MS-DOS is go going down because the graphical user interface is uh, more easy to use. And you have a new startup sound and the shutdown sound is just a startup of Windows 3.1. Okay, the development where at first they wanted to uh, release Windows 95 earlier, like March 1992. So that's a really huge development, uh, decided time, because uh, they have not focused on the networking and the installation, the configuration. First, it was called Windows 94, and uh, the beta release is only available for. People of the USA and UK, they are able to test uh, a Microsoft network, a new introduced uh, platform for online service. Uh, they worked also on a good campaign. They asked the Rolling Stones to release a song uh, that's uh, fitting in the uh, promotion video of Windows 95. And the sales were really strong. In the first four days, they are. 1 million copies uh, sold, so that's really much. And of the end of 1998, uh, Windows uh, 95 were claimed like 60% of the fully market share. Uh, then you have the system requirements. Uh, you need an Intel processor of 8386, the 
X, you will require a random, random ages memory of 4 megabytes. Your hard drive have to uh, just need 50 to 55 megabytes. And uh, the additional uh, stuff are what also is required: mouse, keyboard, and some speakers because some. Some uh, computers have speaker support inside the uh, computer, but sometimes not. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, go to the computer and we all see what's happening now. We are on the computer now. I have installed Windows 95 on this. And you see, I installed it in Dutch. You can understand what I'm reading now, so I'm gonna change the language. This is the desktop screen. So it's really simple and basic. You see this computer, the internet, email, this was a totally new and the uh, uh, recycle bin. And now I'm going to, to change the, uh, the language settings. So you have a, a lot of uh, language. So oh, we have to restart it. Okay, we can do that. What I, uh, if I take a tour of Windows 95, or uh, my, uh, remove the CD-ROM so I can do a tour of Windows 95. So at first, Internet Explorer, I can't run that. When I run this, you see the classic, basic Internet Explorer. So you have favorites, so you search, start, to go home. If you want to stop, you could just click on this. Uh, you have the CD. Sound recorder, so I can record, but there is not a device uh, connected to this. Also, have uh, for your volume. Oh, you have the joystick uh, setting. That's really funny because a controller of a game console is like the PS4, but that time you use joysticks at and games of make joysticks at that time. Uh, how you want to display your recordings and how to display your videos you have nowadays also on the computer you can also change the background uh, into little icons also screensaver and then you have the maze but the maze is not of that good quality I knew uh, Windows 98 had that too and I was really afraid of it I don't hope that I have to restart it again and then if I have to do that I refuse it because the startup time took a lot of time change it without uh, restart it so you see the interface is a uh, little bit changed oh the background is not that big you have the MS-DOS prompt still but in a, a program uh, device Okay, you have more programs, you have imaging, uh, just to import some images. Now nah, it's really little, so you give you your image on this program. You have notepads, club block in Dutch, and you can save as long as you want. There's no requirements of it, so that's really fine. Oh, it is also added at my desktop page. And when you drag it, you can just yeah, collect it. It's not like a towel set. Online uh, registration. I don't know, it's just like something uh, when you go on the internet and uh, you have to uh, register yourself. Uh, at your documents, you can see what you, what are your recently uh, used uh, files. Um, uh, paint. Yeah, you know that one. It's just uh, like the Windows XP interface. Oh, no, that's not my menu. And you can write here and make a graphical. You see the pixels in the color. It's not dark green, but it is just uh, black and green in tiles. So the, the pixels are not that uh, developed. A calculator. So uh, 23 times 6 is 138. 
a telephone chooser uh, just for dial contact or for fax for fax uh, systems i don't know yeah the word pad it's just like words but then not to specify save it on the file manager the file manager is also a new concept and i'm gonna open it now and i don't know where the games are of this operating system but i know there are games so i'm gonna search i know where minesweeper is but you know the game i used in windows 3.1 okay um we're going to file manager now and you go to this computer and you see the mile file manager here it's also specifying as as uh, the uh, later version but it is better than the ms dos concept because you have to type in and there and do overview it's like text so all that things is fitting in the graphical user interface yeah which printers and which files you have on your computer right now uh, setups and printer support some files uh, that are uh, in default on the computer okay now i'm gonna shut down this computer because i want to hear that sound again and i know it's really really uh, really good that it can run eight like i don't know seven programs at the same time so as you can see in the test bar and you have also when you have a test bar that's a really good innovation i'm really uh, glad about it i had enough of this for windows 95 i'm going back to windows 10 10 now Ta -da, i think no i don't hear it i think i think it's disabled thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next video about windows 90, 98 then yeah windows 98 and i hope you learned a uh, a bit of windows 95 it's a really good innovation and i see you in the next video of the development of windows